I will be showing you how to go from this to this. I will be comparing and benchmarking each major setting for graphics and performance differences and giving you my optimized settings. Now, the base game without one of my specific tweaks that I will be showing you later has very limited scalability and it seems that this game doesn't properly utilize the hardware to its fullest which is the case no matter what settings you use but this issue can be heavily improved with a custom launch option basically we're gonna be forcing the game to use DirectX 12 instead of the default DirectX 11 just head over to where you bought the game whether it is Steam or Epic then right click on the game and select launch options and in the window just type dash DX12 that's it now launch the game this will noticeably increase your frame rate but if you notice that stuttering has increased you can just delete this command and revert to DirectX 11 now I will leave you to the rest of the comparisons and jump in when there is something important to note Unlike most other titles, the depth of field in this game is almost always applied, even if you're not aiming your weapon. It has a very subtle yet nice effect, but it has a big performance impact. So turning off depth of field is almost a necessity in this game. Enabling DLSS on quality seems to have a minor ghosting issue in movement. But this is extremely hard to notice during gameplay and is only obviously noticeable when compared side by side. As for the view distance setting, I tested multiple scenes in multiple levels. I could not notice any difference in visuals. I even tested this during movement to see where the cutoff point for the level of detail was. But this setting had no effect here as well. Although, in some scenes, there appears to be a slight performance difference. Going from low to medium post-processing adds vignetting on the sides of the screen and each step up adjusts the quality of the ambient occlusion, while choosing high and above seems to add bloom to some effects, and going from high to ultra seems to have almost no visual change. The effect setting has the biggest impact on image quality depending on the scene and using ultra effects has the best image quality but comes at a great performance cost. So 
I would recommend using high unless you have the spare performance to use ultra. The foliage setting doesn't do what you think it does. Instead, it controls the amount of trash on the ground. After testing many levels, I found this out the hard way. Now as far as my testing goes, I haven't seen this setting affect any type of foliage in the game. So I have no idea why this setting is called foliage. Instead, it should be called something else. So, after using my optimized settings and the hidden DirectX 12 tweak, we can see that performance has doubled. So how is this for a very limited and unscalable game? This is why you should subscribe to my channel, so you can always be rest assured that you will have the best performance on your system.